The Connection Project is a project that starts in kindergarten. The, the children are typically five years old and we connect. We connect the student to the pencil with the correct pencil grip and so that's the first connection is how to pick it up and how to hold it, how to squeeze it, how to understand their hand, understand where the muscles are and and then we start drawing with them and so we start to connect the student to the teacher which is we start to connect the ears so they have to sit there and listen carefully to follow these directions so that their bulldozer looks like a bulldozer so we connect the student to the teacher the student to the pencil. There are connections between fine motor and the brain. So we're making those connections using your fingers and you know taking advantage of the fine motor skills connections. Uh, the other connection in this project is that we engage the children with the teacher. So we're connecting the student to everything that teacher has to say. So th that's why we call it the Connection Project. Um, some of the benefits of this program are self-esteem, because children typically are very happy with their drawings, and so they feel good about them. Um, the goal in this project is literacy, so because we're using drawing to um, you know, engage them, and then being able to draw things will later be seen in drawing the alphabet. Myself as a children's book illustrator, people always ask me, uh, when did I start drawing? And I've always said, kindergarten, when I had to draw the alphabet. So we think of the alphabet as, as a drawing exercise. I'd like to read a quote about from uh, this book, Art with the Brain in Mind by Eric Jensen. And what he says here is the the hand speaks to the brain as much as the brain speaks to the hand. And I like that. When we drew with the children in kindergarten for a year, we had one broken crayon. And that is one of the goals of this project, is that we developed a respect for the materials and the children actually learn how to read the colors. At the end of the year, they take those crayons home. And the, one of the moms came up to me one day and she said, oh my gosh, my son, he just loves that box for those crayons. And so I'd like to show you the box that the children, um, this is the box that they go home with at the end of the year after they've learned all the, you know, they won't memorize all the names of the colors, but they'll know quite a few. And color is either, basically it's red, blue, or yellow. So we put the yellows and greens together, the blues and purples, the, all the pinks and oranges and grays. And these are the, I'm sorry, these are the grays and browns. So we organize the crayons so that the children get to, um, to know them. The benefits of the kindergarten program are a 70-minute attention span, near, far perceptual skills, we have a really organized workspace so the children, if they're right-handed, the materials are on the other side, or if they're left-handed, we get, we get all the, the paper in the right position and the pencil grip and we're sort of sitting up straight. So we, we really have an emphasis on um, the actual desk and how to be successful at that desk. One of the nice things about the project is the, the atmosphere. Everybody's really quiet. The kids are, are extremely quiet because they're so busy following directions. And uh, it's usually a very peaceful time of the day for teachers. That's one thing we keep hearing. Oh, a teacher in Ohio told me about a little boy was drawing and uh, in the classroom and he wet his pants. And uh, the teacher said, why didn't you just go to the bathroom? There's a, a restroom right here in the classroom. And the little boy looked up at her and he said, I didn't want to miss anything in Project 64, which is what the kids call it, Project 64. One thing we've discovered in this project that the boys' drawings are as strong as the girls' drawings. So there's really no difference. Um, and so that's exciting. It's exciting to see the, the strong fine motor in boys as well as girls. So take a look at the website, 
look at the gallery and, and see what these children are capable of. It's amazing to see, you know, what these kindergartners can draw. And we are very excited by their work. And we just want to be a voice to their abilities.